Now, how does it sound like if you put this with the left hand together? And I will show you that. And then I'll slow it down and show you how to play that. As you can see, it gets quite tricky in the middle because you gotta play G with your right and left hand. It's not that easy, but you will learn that too. So, it starts with the main C chord with the left hand. When you hit the C, you hit the E with your right hand. Then when you hit the C the second time, you hit E again, so... And when you hit E and G, your right hand plays the F. So again. Okay. So I think you got that C, C, and E, G. After you hit the fourth time, E and G, after you hit that, you play the F again. And then you play the D together with the B on the left hand. So, then when you hit the B with your left hand again, the second time, you hit the D with your right hand. And when you go up to E and G, you play the E. Then you play it the fourth time. And after you played it the fourth time, your right hand hits the E again. Like in the first chord, just a little bit different. Now your left hand goes down to the G chord, A chord, sorry. And your left hand, your right hand plays the C. When you hit the A the second time, you play the C with your right hand. And when you go to C and E, you play the B with your right hand. And after you played it the fourth time, you hit again C. It's always the same. I know I'm repeating, but yeah, I'm just showing every note you hit. So you really learn it sorry now when your left hand goes down to F you play the A on your right hand so it was like this Now the second time you play F, you hit the A on your right hand too. And when you go to A and C, your right hand plays the B. And after you played it the fourth time, your right hand plays the C. It's always the same pattern. Sorry. And then it starts again.
and then it changes to the next thing. Okay, that was quite a lot. And I'm gonna play that slowly all together so you can play with me. I know I had to explain really much, but I think it's better to explain everything than to leave it out and to make an additional tutorial later for the people who did not get it. So now everybody should have got it. I explained everything. So yeah, um, that thing. Once more, slowly, all together. Now, when you hit the C again with your left hand, the C chord, you go ahead and play the G with your right hand. And when your left hand goes back to C, you hit again the G. So like this. And I know it's quite not that much space, but just move around with your thumb and that will work. When you hit C and G, you again play A. And after that, after the fourth time, you play A again. And when your left hand goes to B, you play G again. So. Okay, that was kind of wrong in the end, but yeah, anyway. Then when your left hand plays the B again, you hit the G with your right hand. When you hit the G, you play the A. Uh, when you play the G, you hit the B. Or the other way around, whatever you like better. And when you hit E and G, you play the B with your right hand. So we wear this there, this stupid. When you go up with your left hand, your right hand goes up too. Then your left hand plays it again. And when your left hand goes down to A and C and E, your right hand plays the A. play C and E and then and on the second time you play A you hit the A with your right hand again then you go to C and E and with your right hand you go to B then you play C and E again with your left hand and then after that you go to C And when your left hand goes to the F, your right hand plays F2. You play that twice, and then when your left hand goes to F again, so you play F, then your left hand plays A and C, and meanwhile your right hand plays the E.
Yeah, finally we got everything. There was it. Okay, now really slowly so that everybody definitely gets it. Yes, that is it. That is the whole song. Now, the thing is they just play all of that twice. And that is the whole song. So, yeah. Or I play it twice. It sounds kind of better because it's longer, not that short. And yeah, let's sum it up so you get all the parts. So, you start with the intro. Then your right hand comes in. Then the second part. Third part. And then you just start from the beginning. And play everything once more, if you like to. If not, I'm gonna teach you the outro now. And it goes like this, I play it like this. So you slow down. Play the G, and then this. So with the left hand you play the C chord, the first one, and with the right hand two. And then you just add a C on top, and play that in a row. So it's, I played the end for you. You can add some notes if you like. That's just the average intro that I like to play. Yes, we got the whole song. Even though I had to repeat myself really, really often. Because it's always the same pattern. But I hope that helped you. Tell me in the comments below. And favorite, subscribe, like. Tell it your friends. And I don't know. Make some posters saying with my name on it. And... Hang it around in your school and your university and wherever you go. I don't know. Just help or do things to get me <laughs> some attention. Yeah, and so that other people can learn from my tutorials. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video.